Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Elite Dangerous. Last episode we uh, had helped out McDonald Colony a little bit and this episode we're going to be taking some more missions. So, how are we all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Got myself some apple cider right here. You can't see it, but it's actually a decent sized mug of it. Yeah, I'm just uh, looking for some good missions. I don't think I find any more missions that... Oh, actually, yeah, there's that boom time delivery. There were two of the same. I wish I could take both, but um, my hauler only had so much space. Just opening up the galaxy map, and I think this mission is in fall. It might be a later mission. But yeah, we're just, uh, setting off again into the depths of space, like always. I cannot wait to get myself an uh, ASP or an Ask Explorer because that's when I can really start to explore the depths of space. Other people are more uh, combat focused when they play this game but I think I just want to fly around and find stuff. I mean I'll build a, a combat oriented ship soon enough, but I kind of want to take my time and enjoy the uh, sights in Elite Dangerous. And Elite Dangerous isn't one of those games where you can just breeze through, you have to take your time with it. Now right here I'm going to uh, go into an anarchy sector, and anarchy sectors are always kind of dicey because you can get interdicted or you have the chance to get interdicted especially if you're carrying cargo so you want to move as quickly as possible through that sector to make sure that your voyage goes as smoothly as possible that's why uh, I probably want better frame shift drive so I don't get caught out in the open like that. I think when uh, it's counting down like that, you can't get interdicted. But the time before, like when it's charging up, you're liable to be interdicted. So just, uh, be a little bit careful with that. I should really uh, check out these astronomical objects more. Yeah, I thought I would get interdicted right here. This is the only interdiction I have this episode, surprisingly. I would uh, just submit the interdiction, but uh, my ship isn't fast enough to jump into hyperspace again. But there we go. Interdiction taken care of. We're going to be going through quite a lot of anarchy sectors today. Very dicey. Like, some of the later ships that you can encounter. 
counter. Um, yeah, they can easily interdict you and pull you over. And there I just got a bonus for um, my mission, so that's always great. Yeah, just another 100k credits right there. Um, if anyone knows how to, I'm on PS4. I want to know how you would uh, get to the menu in the top left to read your mail notifications. Like, I've done it a few times, but I can't remember how to do it on the uh, PS4 controller. I should, uh, get myself a faster ship in order to make, uh, the delivery time much quicker so I don't have to edit out as much. Although, I don't know, like, some star systems just have stations that are, like, way, way out there. It's weird. Then again, that's maybe just um, how it's set up. Oh, and don't mind that, I was just enjoying my uh, apple cider. <laughs> yeah, like I said before, Elite Dangerous is just one of those games where you can take a cup of coffee, sit down and relax. And I quite like it for that. So now we're at the Hadfield plant to make the delivery. And, the bl and I believe the next place that we're going to go to is Babcock Relay. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to check. the auto dock and we should be just fine don't worry <laughs> there is no more cringy singing my singing voice is terrible some of the classical music might be a uh, Bach uh, I don't know I, I don't I haven't brushed up on my list of classical music composers, so I must apologize for that. Landing gear deployed. I love how the auto dock feature get it get it bleh, I cannot speak. Gets it perfect every single time. And with such class too. I like that uh, planet on the side of Han Hadfield's plan. You can see it off to the right. It doesn't look hospitable, though. So just go ahead and turn in the mission and earn quite a lot of money. I have 3.5 credits as of now. Probably gonna need quite a lot more for uh, Asp Explorer. Boom time delivery of 45 units of indite, done. Now, is it here or an another station where I get a mission to go to Babcock Relay? Maybe I should uh, stay at one place at any given time to see if they have any more missions for me. So I'd have to uh, restart the game to do that. Because I think if you restart the game, it refreshes the mission queue. Or the um, kinds of missions that you get. No, I, I think I just go to another station here. Uh, 
I like to uh, pick systems with boons or booms in them. I uh, go to Jupal, but I don't find anything at the moment, so I'll uh, cut that out here in a little bit. Yeah, if you're out of work, I would recommend looking for a station with any sort of boom, really. Since state uh, systems with booms normally have more trading work for you. Landing gear retracted. So yeah, I guess I'll cut away to when I find when uh, we get to it. Sorry about that. Uh, abrupt cut right there. I I'm still working out the ins and outs of editing, but I'm getting better. Anyways, um, we're approaching the Babcock Relay and in the fall system, which I think, yeah, that's just a couple systems away from McDonald Colony. Finding some more work because this system right here is currently experiencing a boom in its economy. And I think Babcock Relay is the only station in this system, oddly enough, which is pretty interesting. It's interesting to see how humans can survive all by themselves out in the coldness of space on a little metal station. Here we are at Babcock uh, Relay. I like that little chime. It's very welcoming. I should, uh... I should remind myself to check and see if there's any community goals. They're probably in the deeper parts of space, though. I end up uh, fiddling around here for a little bit. Yeah, you can see that um, they're currently experiencing a medical outbreak and they need um, medicine. And I'm quite happy to provide them that. Now for these source and return missions, you're going to want to use ed. Uh, I think it's called Elite Dangerous. Io. I think it's called. I'll I'll link it in the description. But um, that database is really handy for locating um, where you might find the products that you need to complete the mission with. Because otherwise, you're just making shots in, in the dark. Just checking to see any other kind of missions. I was looking for the performance enhancers to... Oh. 
They probably want it from another station. Although I could have probably just cheated the system and did it that way. I wanted... Yeah. Come to think of it, I probably could have just cheated the system and brought back their own performance enhancers. Although I'm sure if they had a shortage of it, they would ask you to go find them for them. Yeah, I just typed in, uh, Tai King? Sorry if I butchered that. Tai King is another, um, system with performance enhancers, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that for them. Engaged. Although, uh, the next few systems are, in, we're gonna be going Landing through anarchy active. systems, and it can, it can get quite dicey, especially when you're carrying cargo. Like, as I was carrying the performance hand enhancers through the uh, anarchy systems, I was kind of nervous because you can get interdicted at any point in time. That's why uh, you need to be as quick as possible when you're going through these anarchy systems. Like as soon as your frameshift drive is done charging, uh, charge it up again because you want to get out of there as quickly as possible. I'm Sorry if I'm sounding redundant, but I really don't like spending more time than I absolutely need to in anarchy systems. Here's another good tip for you. You don't fly unless you have enough credits to rebuy your ship. That should be a given, but some people still fly without the necessary credits to rebuy the ship. And then they have to go with the start of Sidewinder until they can afford to get their ship back. I guess I'll uh, cut again to when we get to Tai King. And I'll see you there. Frameship drive charging. And we're back. Now we're in uh, Tai King at the Soto Station, where you can get, where you, where you can currently get performance enhancers at the lowest rate. Again, I used um, the Elite Dangerous database to find this station that would sell me um, what I needed at the lowest possible price. I think was a little more than 6,000 credits per performance enhancer, so they're kind of expensive, but not too bad. It'll be worth it. Soto Station, so let's get into range and then request docking. Lake on Echo Victor India. Be aware, weapon fire restrictions are in place in this sector. I've always been kind of curious as to how these people live in these stations. Like, is it just living quarters or more than that? It'd be really interesting if developers were to incorporate a way for your character to get out of your ship and then walk around in the stations just to see what's up. Because some of the stations are absolutely...
I'm open up to uh, any sorts of suggestions like what do you guys want me to uh, do next in the game. Soto Station. Landing complete. Ship secured. Here is where we will get the uh, performance enhancers for the mission. About 30 of them. And it tells you when uh, your ship will give you a notification like, hey, you got the required amount of commodities to complete the mission. You can go ahead and go back to the required system to claim your reward. It's under the, uh, medicine tab. I thought it was under legal drugs for a second. There we go, performance answers. Answers. Just go ahead and buy 30 of those. You end up spending a little bit of money. Mission objective complete. But, um... It's worth it in the long run. I'm just making sure that I have enough performance enhancers. Back in the fall system. Although what's weird is um, it suggests a really roundabout way for me to go back to fall so that's just another chunk of footage you'll have to edit out because if I were gonna get indicted then obviously I'd show that but it's just me jumping from system to system Ship released. Clear for departure. now that we have the uh, performance enhances we can go ahead and go back to fall and claim our reward I like to make sure that my ship is perfectly aligned. Although I could have sped up here a little bit. I love the little particle effects that come off of the uh, station doors. Yeah, just uh, double checking here. Yeah, that's the weird part. It had me go through like a bunch of anarchy systems, which, eh. Scan detected. I don't have any problem with, just as long as there's not any trouble. So, with that said, I think I'll go ahead and cut here again to bring me back to Babcock Relay to give the performance and answers to the station. See you then. Okay, we're approaching Babcock Relay now with the performance enhancers to give to the medical staff. Hopefully they can fight the infection with those. Although I don't know how performance enhancers would help. Maybe, uh, give them to the medical staff to treat infections quicker and whatnot, keep the energy levels up for the medical staff as well. There's always a kind of story that I like to paint with delivery missions like why would so-and-so need this mission or uh, need this component. Excuse me. Nice little ringed planet there. Ringed planets are all also where you would find um, asteroid. Well, no duh, but 
Asteroid fields are normally where you would find ships with bounties. And again, I don't know how to access that little um, left hand menu, the top left with the uh, messages, or else I would read those. Alright, save this game ready, and we're back at Babcock. Although, I guess their uh, stations were filled at the moment, so I guess I'll cut again when they have an open spot. Like, whenever they deny you access to a station, it's probably because all of their slots are full. Like, see, right here. I, I was like wondering for a second, like, what? Why, why is this happening? Takes a little bit to figure out. So yeah, I'll just cut again to when I start to dock. Yeah, that took a while. It was just literally five minutes of me just sitting there waiting for a ship to leave the station so that I could dock. You wouldn't have wanted to see that. I was in my head at that time I was kept, I was like, why isn't this working? Yeah. It's kind of frustrating when a station runs out of docking places. Although I don't know what you could do to try and remedy that so that it doesn't happen. Well it doesn't happen that often, but it's annoying when it does. But all that matters now is we have the required amount of performance enhancers and we've delivered it to the Babcock Relay to uh, turn in the mission. Used quite a lot of fuel. And there we go made our money back and then quite some quite a lot of money very nice um that's all for this episode i guess i'll see you uh next time to where we do more trading yeah i know exciting right yeah i'm we're just at a point where we have to make more money so I guess I'll see you next time then. Ciao!